And I understand you have a Coco Beware story. Oh, uh, yeah, a few, um, um, everybody likes Andre, so um, we were in um, Bill Watts' territory, and um, uh, Bill asked me to get a van for Andre, because all, uh, for some reason Andre liked to hang around with me, and I, I loved him hanging around, <laughs> I loved to hang around with him, and we always had a good time together. And so we got, I got the van, and Andre was originally supposed to sit in the front seat, but he wanted to sit the way this van was. It had like a back, you remember those vans, like conversion vans they called them? Yeah. They had the seats and everything in the back. So he sat in the back there with um, J.J. Dillon, uh, Terry Garvin, and um, I don't know if there was anybody else. Coco was, uh, yeah, I think it was just J.J., Terry, and the giant in the back. Coco was in the front seat, and I'm driving. And... Um, we're heading back to Tulsa. I forget where we're, we're coming from, and um, we're on the interstate. I'm driving along, and everybody's drinking. You know, it's just the way it was, and everybody drank and drove. Even the driver. You know, I even I was even having a few beers. Um, I never drove drunk, uh, thank God, but um, I still had some beers, which it was part of being a wrestler in those days. You wouldn't be considered no, you cool, wouldn't you wouldn't be considered one of the boys if yeah. you didn't drink beer on the road. So that, you're right, Devin. And um, so all of a sudden, I hear some whispering, blah, 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 and um, you know, Terry's bisexual. So Coco's laughing, you know, and jamming, and um, got the radio on and having a good time. I always had fun with Coco. And he, if you talk to Coco, he can tell you the story. All of a sudden the boss says, Coco. He says, yeah, boss. He said, come here, I want to tell you something. Right away, Coco turns around. Yeah, boss. He goes, come here. So Coco bends over like this. Yeah, boss. The, Andre snatches him in a front face lock. Got him right in the front face lock. He says, hey, boss, what are you doing? Hey. Loosen up, boss, loosen up. I hear, loosen up, loosen up. Coco was saying, loosen up, loosen up. Well, he turns his ass backwards. Now I'm looking in the rear view mirror, and there's Terry Garvin with his pants down. And I can see in the rear view mirror, and, and JJ's laughing his ass off. And uh, now he's cutting, uh, Terry's cutting a promo on uh, Coco saying, oh, man, I love that dark meat. And, boy, I'm just going to get some tonight. And the boss is going, ah, ha, ha, ha. He's just laughing. Oh, ha, ha. And uh, everybody's <laughs> laughing. I'm not, I don't think this is funny at all. Now. I'm driving, and I'm thinking, boy, I'm going to get in trouble. Now, all of a sudden, I look, and Terry's got an erection. And he's slapping the back of Coco's, uh, he's got his, uh, I, hear the, I hear his pants go, shh. And when I heard his pants go rip wide open and Coco screaming now for bloody murder, uh, and I see him tapping his thing on the back of Coco's back, he's going, ah, oh, I got it. And he's talking smack to him, you know, really bad, nasty stuff. And, you know, I, I didn't know what to do. And I hit the brakes and I to pull over and I hear Coco go, ah! And uh, I don't know what happened. No idea what happened. And all of a sudden, I, I get the car over, and Coco jumps out of the car, and he starts running. And I said, what the hell are you doing, Terry? God dang it, man. That's crazy. You can't rape somebody in a freaking car. He goes, I didn't touch him. I didn't touch him. It was a joke. And the JJ's laughing. He says, oh, settle down. It's okay. It's okay. And I, I still, I didn't think it was funny at all. And the boss is laughing so hard. I'm not going to say nothing to the boss. But uh, <laughs> I said, i got to figure out a way to get Coco back in the car. Now, he's he's got his pants ripped <laughs> he's on the interstate and he's yeah, just been God. molested <laughs> I'm thinking, ah, by a 240 pound hairy guy you know and uh, I'm thinking oh gosh oh, with gosh, Andre what is going to happen what is going to happen and it took me almost an hour to get Coco back in the van wow. finally Andre everybody had to come out and console him and tell him nothing was going to happen and I don't blame Coco you know for that because you know that was kind of a, a drunken uh, dirty trick but uh, nonetheless, it happened.